Day 8. Start kidding around. Ask your inner kid to come out and play. Have you had the chance to spend time with any kids lately? Observe them for just a few minutes, and you'll see that their nature is to play. It's the way they experience the world, by running, skipping, inventing games, and shouting their hearts out. When is the last time you acted like a kid? Have you jumped on a trampoline, roller skated, or swung high on the swings lately? You might want to give it a try. It's simply impossible to feel unhappy when you're bouncing or swinging. The next best thing to playing with kids is to play with your inner kid with the help of your journal. There's still a child self inside even the oldest or most serious person, and that child wants to laugh and play. Your inner kid appreciates the simple joys of life and doesn't worry too much about tomorrow because she is enjoying the present moment. Jill Schonberg, the author of the award-winning Journal Buddies Books for Children, writes, When our inner kid is hurting, we often experience a sense of disempowerment and our authentic voices are very often suppressed or even silenced altogether. Moreover, we tend to be driven by what we should say or how we should act or behave rather than from our heart's true desires. On the other hand, when our inner kid is happy, we often experience playfulness, increased energy, and more laughter. We feel empowered, alive, energetic, creative, and expressive. Through a very simple and enjoyable journaling process, my inner child aspect went from being hurt and lonely to happy and joyous. These are some of the benefits Jill reported experiencing from journaling with her inner kid. Greater playfulness, more honesty and truth, increased innocence, insightful imagination, more joy in my day. Jill offers this advice for journaling with your inner kid. Let the wisdom of your inner kid flow effortlessly from your mind and heart onto the page of your journal. Exercise your rights. Number one, open your journal to a fresh page and write the date. Invite your inner kid over to play in your journal with you. Close your eyes and picture your inner kid. He or she may be your actual child self or the imaginary friend you used to have. Number two, open your eyes. In your journal, ask questions of your inner kid. What makes her happiest in the world? What's his advice on a challenge you're facing now? What's the greatest lesson she's learned in life so far? Take notes on the replies you get. Number three, doodle. Use colorful crayons or markers if you have them. Have fun. And here's some reading material to nurture your inner kid. Matilda by Roald Dahl. Recovery of Your Inner Child by Lucia Capacioni. Half Magic by Edward Egger. Homecoming, Reclaiming and Championing Your Inner Child by John Bradshaw. Treasure Island by Robert Louis Stevenson. Mm-hmm.